got his first win as a rookie head coach. Browns beat the Saints 26 to 24 for the first time in a decade. The Browns are 1-0 at home. Hoyer went 8 of 11 for 78 yards on that last drive to get the win for the Browns. Drew Brees, 27 of 40, 237 yards, two touchdowns, one pick. They don't play too well on the road. And now the Saints are 0-2. Many Super Bowl pick would be the Saints, not just Stephen A., so I'm not giving him a hard time. Stephen A., are you giving up on the Saints now? No, but I'm pretty damn close. I got to admit to you. Um, I understand that the Saints are going to lose some games. I understand uh, that there are some weekends that they're just not going to be on their A game. You've got Drew Brees, you've got Jimmy Graham, you've got Colston on those boys. I'm not going to worry about it, especially with Sean Payton calling plays. But what I saw yesterday was incredibly alarming. Brian Hoyer, 85-yard drive, 28-yard yeah. reception to Hawkins where the defense lets you get uh, over, you know, allows you to get behind them, and he throws an over-the-top pass uh, to put Cundiff in position to kick the winning field goal with just three seconds left. I'm looking at that, and I'm saying, what the hell is going on with this defense? This defense, Skip Bayless. Let me tell you something right now. As I look at this Saints defense, I am not impressed at all. I don't blame Sean Payton for being on the sidelines literally yelling at Rob Ryan. He I was. don't blame him one bit. 892 yards surrendered in the first two games, 63 points. You're ranked 31st defensively, 30th in yards allowed, dead last in yards against, uh, against the pass. You're the worst passing defense in the NFL for the first two weeks of this season. Super Bowl champions don't start out like that. So I'm incredibly concerned about the Saints. This was the fourth-ranked defense last year. I thought Rob Ryan had them steered in the right direction. Mm. That does not appear to be the case. I know the Falcons are not a team to be slept on, even though they lost yesterday. I get all of that. I know that Cleveland is better than we're giving them credit for, particularly defensively. Even though Joe Hayden's big time, he had a big-time problem against Jimmy Graham. He did. But in the end, what it comes down to to me is that this defense stinks right now. And they've got to get their act together. I'm shocked that the Saints defense, Rob Ryan's defense, has looked this bad. I really am. And I'm, I'm, I'm this close. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get because I know I want to see them win at home. Sure. And then come back on the road mm -hmm. again and see how they are once they get a win under their okay. belt before I make the decision. But I'm, I'm, I'm losing faith in the Saints big sure. time. I kidded on Twitter yesterday that your Saints have become an accident waiting to happen mm -hmm. because they have been. Right. Accidents keep happening to them late in games. Yeah. But I don't blame you for not jumping off the bandwagon just yet. Now, if you're talking about getting to the Super Bowl, I, I don't know. We're going to have to see if Seattle's bandwagon begins to roll again because I think you and I agree it will come down to where is the NFC championship game. Right. If it's up there in the Northwest, and no way. No happening. Not happening. Yeah. Even name a team. Nobody's going up there and winning, I don't think, at this point. Maybe somebody will emerge. Maybe the Carolina Panthers are better than we think, mm -hmm. but I don't think so. So that means I look at that division. So as far as that division goes, nah, I don't know about Atlanta. I'm just not sure because Atlanta is ranked below now the Saints in defense, right? Because they got it handed to them in Cincinnati yesterday. And I, I thought Tampa was going to be pretty good, and apparently they're going to be pretty bad the way they've started out because they just lost to the St. Louis Rams at home. So that brings me back to this team. Is it possible that Rob Ryan's defense was just, just a one-year wonder, just an aberration where they played way over their heads last year? It's possible yeah. because that's what I'm seeing so far this year. I've not seen one sign of a playoff caliber defense, which means the onus falls back sure. on the quarterback to be a top five quarterback. You know what? I'm not sure he has been in the first two games. And he wasn't yesterday against the Browns defense that, by the way, they're ranked 31st in yards allowed. So I, that they haven't been world beating so far. So all of a sudden, and by the way, another quick point for you. Do you realize this is just, just a, a, a freaky stat that it's been since week seven of 2008 since we had only one 300-yard passer in the whole Sunday, you know, so far, the whole... 
and it, and it was your bad man, Aaron Rodgers. He was the only one who went over 300 yards. Well, doesn't Drew Brees, like, like isn't 300 plus a bad game for yeah, him? You would think. Like 237. Yeah. 237? Yep. So not my Drew point Brees, is. Not the Drew Brees I know. Right. Nobody in the league went over 300 except for the bad man who had, he had, he had a hellacious game to bring back the yeah, Packers against the Jets. Yep. We'll talk about that later. But Drew Brees couldn't bring his team back. It got, it got in trouble, and then it looked like he had, but, but then the defense couldn't hang on to it. But, but again, against the Browns defense, I, I thought the Saints could put up 35 or 40. Seriously, I did. And they couldn't because Drew Brees is not playing at a supreme level that we have seen him play. Well, listen, at. they had a lot going up against them. I mean, you're in Cleveland. They haven't won a home opener since 2004. Yep. We understand that the odds are stacked against them. Uh, you look at the the way they performed, at least in the first half of their opener yep. against the Steelers. Uh, you know, you've got that going on. Then Hoy is upset because Johnny Manziel was thrown into the game for a few plays. Yep. He didn't like that at all. Uh, the defense. I don't blame him. I don't blame him either. You know, the defense is. is legit we all know that but offensively they're challenged and I did they're not just challenged in terms of personnel they're challenged in terms of coaching because uh, you know Petten, this is not his thing I know you got Shanahan and those boys there yep. but, but in the end give credit where credit is due Cleveland deserves it they showed up Hoyer deserves a lot of credit he showed up when it counted but I never thought that I'd see a Rob Ryan defense yeah. look so lost and I'm telling you right now this, uh, any chance that Saint, that New Orleans has about challenging for a Super Bowl berth, it's riding on the shoulders not of Sean Payton, but of Rob Ryan. Rob Ryan has got to coach this defense. He's got to coach this defense. It's just that simple. I can still see him winning the division. There's no way they're going to get to the Super Bowl. No, I'm just saying. It, yeah. uh, to, to me, it's all about winning enough games during the regular yeah. season to get home field and advantage. That's what you think. The Saints okay. are all about. I would never pick the Saints if I know they have to go on the road to win playoff sure. games. Yep. I believe in the Saints in New Orleans. Yep. In that Mercedes Benz dome. That's where I believe in New Orleans. If they don't show up, we got a problem. They don't get enough wins and they don't have a home game. We got a problem. And remember, they still have to go to Dallas, so that's an obvious loss, right? No, no, no. <laughs> I, 